next video I'm going to explain how I did these bases for my uh, Jane Stiller cult. Hello, this is Victor, I'm here with a new video and this time I'm going to talk about these bases. I'm going to explain how I painted these bases for my Jane Stiller cult so you can um, do something similar for your bases. This is a question that comes from a viewer so I thought that was maybe interesting to explain how I do these bases. So I take this one because we have here the part that we can do like concrete, uh, we can play with different grays, I will make it a bluish gray this time. And then this part we are going to do metal, we are going to do rust. So maybe this base will be overdone, but it's a way to show you how to do different effects on, on a base, right? And of course if I put too much here, it's just for demonstration. So I expect in your bases you choose what you need in each uh, in, in your base, right? So let's start. I will start with the fan. So this is the way I will use as a base for. Sorry, I'm missing here this lamp. And I will apply this. You can take. You don't need a really a high detail brush. So we are going to do a base. Okay, on this part. In this tutorial, I will not add extra basic material or texture. I will just use the texture that these bases are coming with but always for example in the concrete part you can add if you want some um, sand right or texture paint to increase the texture if you want or you can add a little bit of um, just in, in a corner somewhere like if there is some rubble okay um, in this case I will just do the base as you can see as it comes and I will not add any other uh, thing, okay? any other uh, text, uh, additional text. So we have applied the fan on the part where we want concrete. We know we wait that this part dries and while this is drying I'm going to take iron breaker and do the metallic part. Don't worry if now you don't pop up the texture, the, the objective on this first part is just to block the main colors. Here we can go over the grid, we can paint, I will paint as well the inside of the grid, uh, later on we are going to do all the effects. Okay. Now uh, I will wait that uh, the paint dries. And once the paint, uh, the two paints have dried, uh, I will do the next uh, steps. Okay, so we just apply here nicely all the base coat. Uh, if it's not perfect, uh, don't worry. This is this is um, just a base, and with all the things we are going to do later on, uh, it's going to look good. Okay. So we can leave it like that, we wait the dries before doing the next step. Once the paints have divine, so we are going to do some dry brushing. Take, I'm going to take a wet brush. Okay, and we are going to do the dry brush with rose grey. We start very soft and we see that there is dirtin with dirtin with the Something like that. 
you can go with one lighter if you want, but it's not needed because now we are going to even pop up more the, the details with the next, next one. So we're going to take Agbot's L shade and we are going to apply Agbot's L shade over the full base. will give a nice depth and on the metallic is going to give this dirty look on the metal okay now again we need to wait at this device so normally what I do is I do more than one base at the same time so I can I can anyway if I have to wait I have more than one base on at the same time so now uh, that here is not a big problem if we have a little bit of pulling here and there I think it adds variation to the bases so you can be here a little bit more dirty than normally what we do on the miniatures but now I will wait at this way and then I will come back for the next step so once the wash have dry okay here we are we, we can start now working on the base and do some effects for example we can add some rust uh, on the base so for that we can use the razor rust and also the typhus corrosion. Okay, let's see if we find the typhus corrosion. So first we are going to apply typhus corrosion. Okay, I will you all, I, I, here is a, is a great base a, a, a great place to experiment. Okay, so we can apply typhus corrosion for example here in this corner. We can apply maybe next to the concrete. So the areas where you think the water can accumulate or the humidity can accumulate and will cause problems, right? We can apply typhus corrosion for example here next to this thing. We can add more in some places than others. Okay, something like that. Let's do as well here a little bit, okay? Something like that. Quite fast. You don't need to think too much. Don't overdo because then it looks too messy. We need to this device. Okay, while well, this is drying, I will show you another thing. We have here this type of um, uh, grid. Okay, what we can do here is we take Nargal Frot. Okay, as I said, this base is going to be maybe overdone, but it's to show all the different things that you can do. You don't need to do all these things in the same base. And we just apply Nargal Rod. What I prefer is I do it like that. I apply it mainly where the grid, in between the, the grids, okay? Doesn't matter if you dirt in a little bit. The, the grid as well, well, we do it like that. You can even spill out if you want. In that case, I won't spill out because I will make it low. So we'll leave it like that. And we have there a nice uh, touch. You can also do, if you want, for example, we can we, you can take one of these uh, things and put a little bit of Nargal Rod inside that if it's water that have accumulated over time. Okay, with uh, some type of uh, chemical product inside. Okay, to make it uh, look more, uh, everything more integrated. This one, this as I need to do other techniques, this should be enough. And while we were applying that, Typhus Corrosion have dry, and now we can apply Razor Rust, okay? Razor Rust, they say that to apply it as a dry brushing. I don't do that, okay? I don't like dry brush oxide, the oxide uh, or the rust should go into the crevices, should go into the corners, not on the top of the surfaces. So what I do is, I take some razor rust and I apply it where it's needed. Okay, very, uh, I put some water on the razor rust and I do something like that. Okay. 
that. You need to cover all the typhus corrosion that we have applied before because the typhus corrosion can also uh, communicate dirtiness or other things, not just rust. Okay, you see. Quite fast. All these steps are quite fast. You repeat it in all the bases where it's needed. And other things that you can do in the base. We can apply a little bit of blood um, um, droplets or places where maybe there have been some drops. So what? There is different ways to do it, but one way is we take a bad brush, okay, one brush, for example, this one, and we do, let me put this, no, this piece of paper, the one that I'm not using, we wait a little bit, we do, we will do like that, okay, so we take now our base, you can do bigger and a smaller drop, so you can do, So this will look like there has been some blood drip like there. Okay, like that should be enough. Don't put too much blood. That's not the blood has not to look red when it's against dark surface. So have to do quite darker. Okay, I will do another tutorial just for blood on weapons. But yeah, like that you will have like these small things. Another thing that I, I, I start using, especially in this base, is to, to simulate grease, right? To simulate like a fuel or petrol or something like that, or grease or something. And I use for that non oil gloss, okay? It's important we use the gloss. Because the gloss will, uh, yeah, will, will give this sensation. What we do with that, we are going to simulate, for example, that this, some, uh, a little bit of liquid or... Um, like uh, grease or petrol or something like that um, uh, dropping somewhere so, okay so we apply it like that you will see that it's quite okay you do like that especially you go to a corner where we already have put the oxidation and we apply more of this something like that in that case you want to accumulate okay and you leave it like that that device this will simulate that we have some liquid, a strange liquid, in that position. Okay, this will, in that case, I should not put the rust, but you understand what I mean, okay? So, UK will have this one, and then we have the rust next to it. And these are mainly the things that we are going to do, okay? Now I wait at all these device, okay? And I will show you uh, how the glossiness is keep at the end, okay? You can also do this, um, you can also apply... The same with, um, not Rayland, uh, with uh, Agrax uh, Gloss, okay, and we'll give also, uh, will be more brown, but there is also some liquids and you can simulate dirty water or something like that. Okay, so let's wait at this device and i show you the final result. So, this is how it looks like when it has dry, and I realized that this transition is too harsh, so what we can do is we take again no in oil, okay, and we can add uh, less quantity just next to it. To make the transition, the end, we want to make the transition softer, okay. Again, we will wait at this device, and that's all, okay, so, but you can do something like that. Okay, this can represent any oil or something that have uh, when when over the, here. So what I will do is just as this is quite a good a big quantity we can apply like that. This will help to show why there is uh, so much of this. Okay, I let it dry again and I show you again and then uh, I think we are going to close up the video. Once have dry, this is how it looks like. Okay. And here I will finalize this tutorial, right? Just was some techniques that I used to do the bases. Now you can put the miniature on top, and yeah, if some parts do you don't like too much, you can even cover with the feet or with the yeah, with the clothes or something, the parts that you don't like if something is not according to what you like. This is a fast way to do this type of bases. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please give a like if you have liked this one. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. See you again later. Bye.